hey, let's just get it over with. Let's just give Russian citizens the right to vote, okay? Because in San Francisco, they're going to give them the right to vote on school board issues. They're going to have foreign citizens who are going to decide how much money you are going to pay to build schools for them because their country, their home country that they are citizens of, don't want to pay for their education. So they send them here for us to pay for them. And if you look at the number of children, as we had this debate as to what was going on at the border, if you look at the number of children that are intercepted by Border Patrol, that's not counting the ones who get through that they don't know about, but you should look at the ones that are intercepted. That's enough kids that would have to build two school, uh, a school every two days uh, at the uh, average size of schools here in Texas. A new school every two days, just for the ones that they know about. Who's going to pay for that? You will, with your property taxes. What happens when you pay for the free education of these dreamers who come here demanding free education from you, paid for by your property taxes? That means that your American dream goes away. I was talking about Rand Paul, the fact that he is risking being identified as a Russian agent. Yes, <laughs> uh, the people that uh, call themselves control because they think they're in control of everything are going to say that he is on the side of chaos, and yet... Uh, we know who is on the side of chaos. Uh, Rand Paul said he's going to lead a U.S. delegation to Moscow on Monday. He's going to meet the Russian deputy foreign minister. Shame on him for doing something like that. Uh, amid deteriorating relationships between the two countries. His uh, statement said Senator Rand Paul is a proponent of diplomacy and is supporting President Trump in engaging around the world. He looks forward to the meeting. Uh, in an op-ed piece for Politico last month, Paul revealed his plans for the trip, said he needs to prevent further unnecessary escalation of tensions. You know what that is if you look that up in the dictionary? It's called detente. Uh, many of you millennials may not remember that word because it was something that uh, there was once upon a time, many of you will remember when we had uh, the word gravitas. All of a sudden, it, it was never there. And then all of a sudden, one day, everybody on the news media was saying the word gravitas. Gravitas this, gravitas that. This person has gravitas. So forth. It was like it was the word of the day. You know, I used to do that with our, our kids. You know, we homeschooled them. And so you have these vocabulary builders. And you say, well, okay, kids, the word of the day is anti-disestablishmentarianism. You have to use that five times in a sentence. <laughs> or something a little bit more obscure. Usually it's the things that don't have a lot of syllables that are difficult to figure out how you're going to use them. You can kind of break the other ones down. But the word gravitas all of a sudden just came out of nowhere. And then everybody was using it over and over again, that echo chamber of the mainstream media for a couple of days. Same thing happened with detente. It just came out of nowhere. I think it, maybe Henry Kissinger started talking about detente. And as he did that, uh, it became a commonly used word. Uh, it lasted for more than a couple of days, as a matter of fact. And it meant the easing of strained relationships. Now, one person who understands what detente is is Professor Stephen Cohen. And he got on, I think it was CNN, with Max Boot, one of the people who I am sure is going to come out and call Rand Paul a Russian, because he did that to Professor Stephen Cohen. Absolutely amazing. I want you to hear this clip, this back and forth between this neocon shill, Max Boot, and somebody who is trying to keep the world from breaking out into nuclear war, uh, Professor Stephen Cohen. Here's that clip. The striking thing to me is that although he's willing to threaten this North Korea, Max he's willing Boot. to threaten Iran, Anderson he Cooper. never threatens Russia. And that's why a lot of intelligence officials think that there is something highly suspect in the relationship between him. Putin and Trump. I have no idea what Mr. Boot is talking about. He wants Trump to this threaten Cohen. Russia. Why would we threaten Russia? You've got two nuclear Because they're attacking us. And Mr. Russia is attacking us, of the Professor best Cohen. Approach. Russia is attacking us right now, that. according to Trump's own director of Russia, national intelligence. Russia, I've been studying Russia for 45 years. I've lived in Russia, and I've lived here. And you've been if consistently Russia was attacking attacking for Russia us, we would know it. Years. Russia hasn't... It, ru ru Ex excuse me, what did you say to me? I said you've been consistently an apologist that, for please. Russia in those last 45 years. Oh, you're a Russian years. apologist then. All right, I don't do defamation of people. I do serious analysis of serious national security problems. When people like you call people like me, and not only me, 
but people more eminent than me, apologists for Russia, because we don't agree with your uh, analysis. You are criminalizing diplomacy and detente, and you are the threat to American national security. End the story. Why do you have to defame somebody you don't agree with? It? They used to do that in the old Soviet Union. We don't do that here. Well, we used to, but we need to stop it. Because Max Boot is a military industrial complex shill. That's why he's on CNN. That's why he's there with Anderson Cooper. And it's not just Max Boot. It'd be fine if it was just him. But there's a lot of people that fall in that category. We've got other senators besides Rand Paul who are in the process of trying to do more punishing of Russia. They don't want to ease strained relations. They want to strain relations between the U.S. and Russia. Uh, Zero Hedge points out in the latest effort to punish Moscow over alleged election meddling. Again, they're attacking us. They're meddling with our election. I'm going to talk about that later. We've got the Democrats who are hacking our election in, in a number of ways, with foreign citizens, by the way, giving them the right to vote and doing it unapologetically. When I first saw this, I said, hey, let's just get it over with. Let's just give Russian citizens the right to vote, okay? Because in San Francisco, they're going to give them the right to vote on school board issues. They're going to have foreign citizens who are going to decide how much money you are going to pay to build schools for them because their country, their home country that they are citizens of, don't want to pay for their education. So they send them here for us to pay for them. And if you look at the number of children, as we had this debate as to what was going on at the border, if you look at the number of children that are intercepted by Border Patrol, that's not counting the ones who get through that they don't know about, but you should look at the ones that are intercepted. That's enough kids that would have to build Two school, uh, a school every two days uh, at the uh, average size of schools here in Texas. A new school every two days, just for the ones that they know about. Who's going to pay for that? You will, with your property taxes. What happens when you pay for the free education of these dreamers who come here demanding free education from you, paid for by your property taxes? That means that your American dream goes away. And so I said, let's just give the Russians a vote. And we can stop all this fear and paranoia. And we can stop rushing up to a nuclear exchange here. Let's just give them the right to, if you're worried about them hacking the election, just give them the right to vote. Well, it turns out, a couple of days later, there was a story that came out, a Russian woman in, again, San Francisco, where they gave these uh, people the right to vote. Turns out that she was put on the voting roll in 2012, and she wasn't a citizen then. She became a citizen like three years later. And she said, I never even registered to vote. I became a citizen, but I never registered to vote. And I certainly didn't register to vote back in 2012. But, of course, she was put on as a Democrat. A Democrat. Uh, so, yeah. But you want to know where the real hacking is coming from? They want to use that term hacking, but then as soon as you say, oh, well, you know, what votes were changed? Where were they changed? Oh, no votes were changed. Don't lose any confidence in the election system. We can trust this election system. Absolutely can trust it. No, you can't. We have DEFCON uh, the hacker conference that happens in Las Vegas started last Friday. I think it's over now. It might be still going on. They have uh, two different conferences. There's a Black Hat conference and there's also DEF CON. Uh, one runs after the other. But the first thing they were going to do was to set up replicas of the state boards of elections websites and have kids, because they wanted to show how easy it was to hack into the system, have kids hack into this system. Kids that were ranging in age from 5 to 16, just to show how quickly they could do it. And, of course, you know, we always see the pictures uh, uh, every election. You have a local TV news station. So I've said before, they take, uh, uh, they take a, uh, an associate professor to junior college, and he brings in some of his undergrad students, and they have a thumb drive, and they stick it in a computer, and they own that computer. Well, it's far more important if you can hack into the areas where they count and tabulate the votes, and you can change everything there algorithmically. So if you really were concerned about hacking the election, you would do what that one jurisdiction, you had uh, a town that had their computers taken over by ransomware, and they said, we're just shutting the things down, at least till we can get them fixed. We've gone back to paper and typewriters. Well, let's go back to paper ballots, because that's the only way that you're going to keep anybody from hacking the elections. All of this nonsense about the Russians hacking the election, folks, it's because it's going to be a hacking contest unlike anything you have ever seen, unlike even DEF CON. They're going to have the Republicans and the Democrats both hacking our electronic voting system. They don't want you to know this. 
But if either side gets caught rigging the votes with the electronic voting machines, they're going to blame it on the other political party. We need to go back to paper ballots. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You know, President Trump talks about how we need to be trailblazers, how we need to be outsiders, how we need to expose the current stagnant system that's been suppressing us, wanting to make us poor so we can consolidate control and buy us up for pennies on the dollar. That really is the globalist system. And he's absolutely right. So it is an honor uh, to be persecuted by the globalist and to be lied about and to be demonized. But it's an honor to draw them out so we can show who they are so that you take action and you take the country back politically, culturally, spiritually, financially. Another hero is Julian Assange, who's been in solitary confinement in a closet-sized room. They converted a closet uh, with a bed and enough room for a laptop. They took that away uh, over a year ago. No communication with the outside. It's all been one hell of a time for him, and he was very bipartisan in that he exposed Republicans, he exposed Democrats, he very judiciously released information that exposed criminal activity of the NSA, criminal activity of the CIA, illegal spying on Congress, illegal spying on Trump, illegal spying on me, but they had my home number, my old cell, my new cell, and my office line, and they had Donald Trump's mar lago private apartment number that I had. Total proof of Obama spying on Trump and yours truly a decade ago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real deal. And America's had freedom so long, people don't recognize real tyranny when it hits them right between the eyes. But everyone needs to go to Infowars.com. The article is right up there at the top of the page, red link. Petition to Trump, pardon Julian Assange. And we go over the fact that he engaged in regular journalistic activity and did a wonderful job being advised by top journalism professors around the world. And that he was very, very fair about what he did and that you need to send the message that he's a hero. Now, I know they claim he's a Russian agent with no evidence and all the rest of that garbage, even though they've released stuff on Russia and Israel as well, and China. But it doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do. And you wouldn't have gotten elected without drudge. You wouldn't have gotten elected without what, what you've done, obviously. You can't say it's any one person, but without any of us together, it wouldn't have happened. So we need the president to pardon Julian Assange. And you said in a speech, I don't care who got her illegal server. It's illegal. It's about what she did that's wrong. Don't change the subject. Go back to that instinct, sir. But you told Assange, release it. You said release more stuff. And he's in the crosshairs. And he needs to be pardoned if he's brought back to the United States. Electrify your day with Secret 12. It's like lightning in a bottle. We all have days in which we just can't seem to perform at the level we'd like to. InfoWars Live Secret 12 is designed to naturally energize your body and mind with two great tasting and super high quality forms of vitamin B12. Proper vitamin and nutrient intake is essential to keep your body functioning at optimum levels. The reality is, it's hard to take in the proper amount of vitamins we need each day with our modern diets. Secret 12 by InfoWars Life is an easy way to naturally upgrade your vitamin B12 intake and support your body's natural systems. It pairs two forms of vitamin B12 into one explosive formula. Vitamin B12 supports healthy energy levels through red blood cell formation and aiding in the body's natural processes, but it also assists with many other functions of the body. Electrify your mind and body and take your health to the next level. Experience the power of Secret 12 at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com.